Hey, Gemini. Welcome to another reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. It's going to be a timeless love reading, so whenever you feel drawn to the title, um, to the picture, that's when it's meant for you. It's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. So at a time that you feel like you need guidance, you need clarity, and would like me to tune in to adjust your energy, <clears throat> you could tap on the link below. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. And there you can see all the multiple readings that I have to offer. I'm still doing that current, that two free readings up to 30 minutes long um, giveaway for the month of January. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. And for those of you that are new and returning, leave a snowflake emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine throughout the month of January until the very end. Um, make sure your notifications are on because I will be randomly choosing two people at the end of January and reaching out to you initially through YouTube. And um, for those of you that are always an active participant and leave the emojis and I, you know, I do this every month. So at a time you will be chosen. All right, for my Geminis. All right, we got two messages, success and trust. Two very clear one word messages. for my Gemini's. All right, I want one to fly right out. Here's the picture. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Now for those of you that are single, that very well could be a message from your spirit. I mean, message from your person manifesting you into their life. Neither one of you know it's each other, but this person is putting that message out there to you, letting you know that they are there. And for others of you, the person that you came onto this reading thinking about, if the rest of the reading resonates, then they have a mess that message is meant for you. All right, your energy, the Hierophant, you're ready for a commitment, Gemini. You're ready to be in union with someone, to have the equal those equal values, um, to be supportive of one another, but to be in that deep union. And I do feel like it's a fate. Look at this. Are you seeing this, Gemini? What is coming towards you is fated. There is somebody making like a judgment call and coming towards you. And it's going to be long-term. Three major arcana at the bottom of the deck. All right, spirit. Gemini's energy. I mean, current situation. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody that may be their own boss. May be very high up in terms of their business or their career. Oh, stability. Financial stability and support. I feel like someone is holding their feelings out for you. Past energy for Gemini in terms of love. Nine of Cups. So in the past, you felt like you had wish fulfillment. It could be a fire sign. They might be an earth sign with fire in their chart. But it's like the two of you are in separation. You like took a retreat, pulled your energy back from one another. Feeling closed off, not wanting to make a decision. What does the future hold for Gemini? And look what I look what I love about this. So, Gemini, for those of you dealing with a fire sign, and like I said, they very well could have fire in their chart. They are making this call, this judgment call. They have been through a time of self-evaluating. Where they showed up as a knight in the past 
They're now coming in as a king. So there is an intense leveling up here. They're coming towards you because they feel that passion for you. They feel that chemistry with you. I feel like they have been suffering in silence in terms of their emotions. And it's like they see you thriving and they see you doing well. And they don't want that opportunity to go away. It's like nothing in their life is intriguing them or interesting anymore. <clears throat> they find themselves thinking about you often. All right, let's see what else we got, guys. I love it's like when it's a knight and then a king. It's And this judgment wants to keep popping up at the bottom while right? I shuffle. <clears throat> All right. Please clarify the king of pentacles and the moon. And please clarify the past situation. The Six of Pentacles came right out the way it wanted to. An equal give and take offer. Clarifying the King of Pentacles and the Moon is an abundant offer coming in. Something that you can grow with. Something where it's two individuals that can completely take care of themselves but then coming together because they want to be together and it just being a magical connection. There's definitely healing that has happened here. Patience that was needed. But I do feel it's like somebody seemed emotionally unavailable or this could be you that removed your emotions from this connection. If they weren't ready for that type of commitment, um, and you felt more, it was like on their terms, you know, when they were in for the passion, they were in for the chemistry and the intimacy. But then they, it's like they bounced when you talked about relationship or commitment. I feel like they left you no choice but to take their your emotions away. But I feel like you are a kindred spirit to them. All right, spirit, and please clarify this king of wands. All right. Now, clarifying the King of Wands is the Queen of Swords and see how your back is towards him. I mean, him being, because it's a male masculine energy here, it's like you've turned your back on this person. And that's what them got, what well, that's what has them all up in their head. They see you thriving. They're manifesting and holding out hope in this connection. For some of you, I really feel like you have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. This also could be that you've moved on to an earth sign. Another connection, you've moved on. Um, and I feel deep, like deep within you. You think about this other person, this fire sign. You think about them. You wonder how they're doing. You think about like, will there ever be a future for the two of you? But in your thoughts, you're manifesting it. And you did. You turned your back and took this energy from them. They feel it. And here's the breakthrough. And there's the judgment. I knew it was going to pop up again. Yep. This person's returning. Gemini. But I do feel like you have something abundant already with this earth sign. But it's like silently, you may even seem that you've moved on to other people. Like you don't think about this person, distant memory. But I feel like at times you really do feel, will this union ever happen? Will we ever get a chance to be it but you're manifesting it you are bringing in this love oh my god gemini three of wands ace of cups two of cups there's that leo energy again and i feel like they have a confession they've been through a transformation within themselves and now it's like they want to offer you long term they have long term to offer you they might have been working on their stability. 
grounding themselves, figuring out what they were supposed to do with the rest of their life, their goals, their career. Runaway love. See, now the flipping runner is chasing you. They never stopped watching you. They never stopped keeping an, keeping an eye on you. Wondering, like I said, how you boot like each other is wondering how each other is doing. All right, spirit, what else? See, I had to move on because I'm not ready now. I really feel like that's why they moved on. They were in this night energy. They didn't have that long term to offer. They weren't thinking along those lines. I had to lose you to, re to realize the value of this connection. All right. Those three wanted to come out, so we're going to take them. Anything else for my Geminis? I couldn't give you the love you truly deserved. Let's be honest with one another. I know you were the one that got away. See, that's what I mean. I feel like it's like two people that honestly need to have a heart to heart. I feel like even though you may have moved on to someone else, Gemini, you think about this person. You wonder what if, what could be, will it be? Um, and you're manifesting it every time you think about it. And this person, I feel like has done a huge leveling up and they realize you are their two of cups. They realize that you are the one their heart is driven towards and they're returning. I wish you the best of luck because for some of you, you are going to have my beloved right here, this message from your beloved. You're going to have to choose from this sign and this sign. And I wouldn't want to be in your spot. But what I'm going to truly tell you, because I care for each and every one of my subscribers, is follow your heart. When you think long term, who do you see yourself with? Say God I, or spirit, God, spirit, whatever you resonate with. Spirit, I don't know who I'm, if I'm making the right move, but I'm following my heart. So please have my back and make your move. Stability, which is what this earth sign has to offer, or this passionate love connection. I mean, you may you still feel that for the earth sign too. But I feel like once this person hits you up, you're going to be all up in your head and needing to make a decision. All right. Have the best weekend ahead. Love and light.